So, here we go again. It is... What time is it? It's just past 7.30 in the morning. Sunday, August the 26th. I have been playing Heavy Rain all damn night. And I'm dying to go to bed. But there's one last piece that I need to put together here. Let me just go ahead and do um, Heavy Rain, the Taxidermist, the DLC. This was the only uh, DLC for Heavy Rain that Quantic Dream released. Um, the original plan was to release a prequel type of adventures for Mattis and Jaden and uh, probably Ethan and, and Shelby too, I'm not sure. But this was the only one that came out because they canceled the others. So, uh, ah, nice juice. The taxidermist. God, this is fucking creepy. But let's do it. Madison Page. Madison, it's Sam. I got the information you asked for. The guy's name is Leland White. He used to be a taxidermist, 40 years old, single, apparently out of work for the last two years. No criminal record, no psychiatric history. A taxidermist? That's pretty original. You got his address? I'd like to ask him a few questions. His last known address was 411 Harbor Street, Lexington. You really think this guy could be the origami killer? The only way to find out is to go and ask him. If it's not him, he'll give me some tips on how to stuff animals. And he is the killer. And we've got the scoop of the year. Shit, you're really nuts. That's why you like me. Be careful, Madison. You never know. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Tuesday, November 3rd, 4.15 p.m. I'm at the home of the suspect Leland White. So yeah, the voice actress for uh, Madison is different from the main game. Uh, I can't remember her real name, but the voice actress that's, that's doing the uh, DLC Madison is the same woman who did the voice of Carla in Indico Prophecy, a.k.a. Fahrenheit. Weird atmosphere. I'll just ask Mr. White a couple of questions and then get the hell out of here. The mailbox. It wouldn't be very discreet to have a look, but... That's a federal offense to go through somebody's mail. That's fucking mail fraud. Catalogs for women's clothes. Mr. White seems to be interested in fashion. Anybody home? Mr. White? The bitch ain't home. Let's sneak in. It's stupid to come all the way out here for nothing. Maybe I'll have a look around the house. You never know.
a window. It's a jar. It looks too high for me to be able to get in that way. Step on that shit. I could have a quick look inside. I'm not gonna get my article written by hanging around outside. Fortune favors the bold, but the problem is the bold will actually uh, end up dead sometimes. I can't just break into the guy's house like this. If I get caught, the newspaper's gonna have to come up with the bail money. Sam is right. I really am crazy. Yes, you are. <laughs> Shit, I have to scratch my ear. Okay. Fuck. I'll just have a quick look, take a few photos, and get out of here fast. <sighs> I hate this place. It stinks of dust and death. Women's jewelry. Dozens of necklaces and bracelets. Strange place to keep them. Anybody live around all these dead animals? <sighs> this place gives me the creeps. What am I doing here? I'm wasting my time. I better get out of here before the guy gets back. Hmm. Mr. White and I don't exactly share the same taste in interior decor. Was that Summer's Eve in the cabinet? The funk? Gee, think I'm gonna find a story in the fridge? Shut up, there's nothing wrong with looking in the fridge. You can tell a lot about a person by what they eat. So, looks like Mr. White is into bodybuilding. Big muscle man who guts animals, he must be a very popular guy. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, God. Oh, shit! <sighs> Great, Madison. Fuck that bird. I don't remember that happening before. Ugh. I hate fish. Fucking wolf. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. Traces of blood on the garage floor. They look fairly recent. Oh, shit. Let's just get it over with and go upstairs. Fuck. There's like 12 possible outcomes. Damn. The floorboards creak when I walk on them. It fits this creepy place. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking deer. So, what's this room? Oh, it's a closet. Fuck. What's this room? Yeah, put it the fuck back in the closet, shit. Damn. There was this one time I was fighting the guy in this room and this, this hook that's hanging from the ceiling, he hit me in the head with it and just instant kill. Instant fucking kill. This is beginning to get me down. I better get out of here. Okay. 